This is a 71 year old male MBA restrained driver. He was a polytrauma, also had a pill fracture, pilon, clavicle, and proximal humerus. You can see he's got a posterior wall piece, pretty displaced, pretty comminuted, and actually pretty good sized. So nothing crazy. He went to surgery. Those pieces were lagged. I had a little spring plate at that anterior wall. And then one plate was good just to hold that in. And this is actually his four month follow up. He was having no pain, doing excellent. Well, five and a half months later, he trips on the cord. This was actually two weeks ago and breaks his femoral neck on the same side. And this was the first acetabulum that I did in practice and definitely made me think about why hardware, where you put your hardware is always important in case you pick it out. So with him, because he was 71 years old, he was still very, very active. Um, so I recommended because these screws were pretty superficial and pretty close to the joint surface. Um, I recommended that he get a removal of hardware and conversion to a total hip. He's actually doing pretty well. Why not, uh, you know, these elders, you know, a lot of people are now doing, because you bait, he was 71, right? He's 71, but he still golfs, he still runs. Yeah, he's still super active, yeah. So, and, and that wall looked pretty common. That was, was. that was not a one piece wall. And we know uh, studies on these common posterior walls. Um, and someone that active, why not just uh, do a total from the get go? Because, because you kept them non weight bearing, right? After surgery for like three months or something like that, right? I didn't do a touch for three months. Yeah, so touch, and then you start lock him. Then he does this. Why not? Uh, you know, why not go straight to a, a total hip? Did you think it's that's definitely a possibility. Yeah. I mean, he didn't have very severe arthritis. But I think uh, that is the question, right? Like, right. who should get total hips? And because this guy was clearly doing okay, right? Like he was he was doing well with this. Good. Yeah. Um, so, but some don't, right? Like some some do pretty miserably. Um, so I think that's the million dollar question that I don't know. I mean, there's some obvious, like you get one and there's bad posterior impaction and stuff, you know, or they have pre existing arthritis. I mean, those, that, those are easier ones, but uh, I think there's a gray zone in here where, you know, none of us really have great answers. And of course you did spare yourself fixing the complex periprosthetic hip fracture by <laughs> not doing that. <laughs> Yeah, I always wonder because again, guy is super active, seventy one. You know, he's probably going to just eager just to get going in life. And you know, with these common new walls, it's like I'm sure you you talked to him about arthritis, right? You talked to him like, hey, oh, you know, no. yeah, we're going to fix this, but uh, boy, you can definitely end up with uh, post traumatic arthritis, and then you'll need a, a hip, you know, down the road. I mean, but whatever all this stuff is, um, I'm sure you mentioned that to him. So. You know, with someone that active, you know, it just crosses my mind. I think more and more literature now is, you know, they're really talking about this, um, you know, fix and replace type type things. I know it's more for these impacted fractures, but you know, something to think about, especially with these comminuted walls and someone who's, you know, that age and that active. Um, sure. I, I think if they had Petrugio, it kind of answers your question too. Well, I mean, for sure. I mean, yeah. plates and screws plus a total hit, actually. Like yeah, mean. for sure, for sure. But yeah, it's something to think about because that's what I think about too. Is at this age, I'm like, hmm, you know, it was that bad. I, you know, you can always just, think, you know, talk to him and say, hey, this is an option too. You know, is that something, you know, that way it's, you know, you're not really putting any downtime. He's walking day one and getting back to life. So, you know, I think that's sort of kind of what more and more people are researching about is, is that. Sure. Great case.